All right, let's talk about pH for a minute. I've heard over the years, many influencers on social media, as well as people in forums state that with living soils, pH doesn't matter. You can throw away your pH pen. You don't have to pH your water because the microbes in the rhizosphere, that area around the roots, are gonna take care of the pH there and, and manage it for you. And I wanna address this because it's simply, a, it just shows a lack of understanding of, of basic plant botany and plant physiology. Um, yes, microbes will help buffer the pH and the pH in the rhizosphere, that area directly around the roots, can be different than your overall media pH. But if we can get pH into optimal ranges in our media, in our soils, it's going to make it easier for the plant to uptake nutrients. And ultimately that's what we want. And so if the plant's not having to put out resources uh, in regards to pH uptake, and it's able to access the nutrients in your media, it's going to be able to put that energy into other physiological processes that we want, like growth, yield, uh, disease resistance, those sorts of things. So pH absolutely does matter. Now, how do we manage pH? Uh, we manage pH by, by testing, um, whether that's with a, you know, a slurry test or using a pH meter, uh, by sending off for a soil test, we can test pH. And when we get pH into better ranges, and let's just say, you know, 6.6 six to 7.1 is a perfectly good range. I personally like to target 6.8, which is a little bit higher than you would hear from a lot of other people. But with cannabis, we're also trying to limit heavy metal uptake. And so by having a higher pH, we limit the plant's ability to uptake some of these heavy metals that are more accessible at lower pH ranges. Um, but it's very easy to raise pH. You know, simple things like uh, lime, things with calcium. So elastinite, uh, agricultural lime, those are gonna raise pH. If you need to, uh, dolomite as well, but we don't typically recommend it. Um, if you need to lower pH, then something like, uh, agricultural sulfur is a great option and if you want to keep your ph but add more calcium then you would use something like gypsum but managing your ph testing your ph is a great way to make sure that your plants are getting what they need a great example of that is with blueberries i think i have some right over here i added agricultural sulfur to that soil to lower the ph because the plants if i had kept the ph at the same range as the rest of my garden here they just simply wouldn't grow and they'd be stunted and not be as healthy. So pay attention to pH. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below.